Past weeks, different city every day. I hardly get sleep. So much to say, sometimes I can't speak. Life is like a movie. Joey Joshua, don't I get sick? I go by the name of Shiga Shay, and I'm a rapper from Singapore. I started to write my own raps at 14. It gave me an outlet to express myself, my opinions my view on things and my aspirations in life. And uh, that's why I bought my own rhyme book and started to practice how to rhyme and how to write. I can show you my rhyme book from when I was 14, 13, 14 years old. Yeah, so, you know my <laughs> lyrics. <laughs> Shigas, my alter ego, my real name's J-I-N. I used to look in the mirror and just say, there I am. <laughs> Okay, this is verse. I'm the finest from SG, either you feel me or not. These poses acting hot, but all they do is talk a lot. Wow, okay. I think I put in a lot of hard work. Uh, like, cause I was writing all these lyrics, not for anybody, you know, just to practice. Rap and hip hop was not a mainstream form of music back then in Singapore. It was a very niche and underground genre. So I came in the game and I'm gonna state my stand. Cause I feel like I'm insane, they don't understand the pain. Living behind. I think when I told people that I wanted to be a rapper, the most common feedback that I would get is that you can't make a living doing music in Singapore. And there's no future in making music as a Singaporean. Definitely felt frustrated and angry because they didn't understand the thing that I was the most passionate about, the thing that I love doing the most. Yeah, but in Sec 3, I had a, my Chinese teacher, Miss Tan. She was the only teacher in secondary school that believed in my dreams when I was uh, really adamant on following my dreams to becoming a rapper. My first ever rap performance on stage was actually when I was in secondary two for Teacher's Day. I think stepping on a stage for the first time felt very surreal, very exciting. After the Teacher's Day performance, Miss Tan came into the class and the first thing that she said was, she pointed at me and she said, um, wow, I didn't know that you can rap. I, I'm pretty shocked. And um, she said like, you know, I think that you have, a, you have a real talent in this and you should keep doing what you do and follow your dreams. So back when I was 15, I didn't get a lot of encouragement from adults when I said that I wanted to pursue music as a career. But uh, Ms. Tan was the only teacher in secondary school that was so supportive. So it meant a lot to me. I haven't seen Ms. Tan in like uh, 15 years. I really want to show her um, how far I've, I've come in my achievements. Miss Tan was my Mandarin Chinese teacher in Sec 3 and Sec 4. She has been encouraging me to write in Chinese when I was in secondary school. She definitely played a pivotal role in shaping who I am today also as well. In the sense of having a career in Mandarin and Chinese hip-hop and rap. Because she was the last Chinese teacher that I had in my life. I've been teaching for 17 years in Queensway Secondary School. It's not an easy task for the students 
But I always tell them that, you know, being bilingual is very important. It will give you an edge advantage uh, when uh, you need it. Miss Tan is not just a teacher that taught me Chinese. She's also quite a, I guess, a motivational coach in a way. In uh, 2008, when I was in the middle of preparing for my O-levels, one day coming back home from school, I remember my parents sitting me down and very seriously telling me that like, my father was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. When I heard about it, I didn't know how to react because it's very confusing for me at that point in time, you know, a lot of mixed emotions, like sadness, depression, everything, you know, all at once. So that was a very difficult time for me and my family. And obviously, my parents wanted me to focus on school and my studies, right? But uh, my mind was all over the place. Oh, I remember him fondly. I think we, we share that special connections uh, in our love for music. At that point, uh, rapping, I think, is uh, not so common in Singapore. Uh, but maybe uh, I'm being open-minded, so uh, I am not those conventional type that say, you know, you have to pursue a certain kind of career, uh, that then you will be successful. So uh, if Shika loves music and he's good at it, uh, why not? During O-levels, a lot of times I had to go for my father's medical appointments or his treatments in the hospital. So after school, I might not be able to attend the remedial or the sessions and whatnot. And I had to tell Miss Tan about it. After I told Miss Tan, she was concerned about my well-being and um, she would constantly check up on me. She wanted to show me that she was there for me. And I think because of that, like I felt like I could open up to her Let's try this, huh? Okay, we can just try. Look, I'm not the only one who's the king, but I'm the king of the king. I'm the king of the king, but I'm the king of the king. I'm the king of the king, but I'm the king of the king. I'm the king of the king, but I'm the king of the king. I'm the king of the king, but I'm the king of the king. I'm the king of the king, but I'm the king of the king. I'm the king of the king, but I'm the king of the king. I'm the king of the king, but I'm the king of the king. I'm the king of the king, but I'm the king of the king. I'm the king of the king, but I'm the king of the king. I'm the king of the king, but I'm the king of the king. So the song that I want to perform for Miss Tan is actually from my new single called Overachieve, Chu Qi Zi Shen. I used the Chinese idiom, Ren Bu Ke Mao Xiang, Hai Shui Bu Ke Dou Liang, which uh, Miss Tan did teach in secondary school before. More like, don't judge a book by its cover. I want her to hear it live and hear what her teaching has, has uh, done. <laughs> Okay, so today we're back in my secondary school, Queensway, and it's been 15 years since I've been back. Feeling very nostalgic to be back here, a lot of memories. We're gonna give my Chinese teacher, Miss Jun Tan, a very special surprise. Oh, we're here. I don't really know what to expect. I haven't seen her in more than 10 years. Uh, right now, I'm pretty excited, but uh, I'm just trying very hard to remember the things that I want to say to her, because, you know, uh, I might forget everything when I see her, so. Okay, I think it's about time that we go in and surprise Miss Tan. Let's go. Then you know that this old lady wants to go to the city, Hello, Miss Tan. Surprise. Hello. 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 He gave me a lot of encouragement. Then, my Chinese achievements are all because of Ms. Tan. So, I'm here today to show her my stage performance for Ms. Tan. Please sit. Let's go. Hello. 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 Hello.
。我不是天生的王者，但我骨子里流是犀利的血液。那些试图在我背后通道子的，我该跟他们说谢谢。因为有了这些小人，我才学会了人不可轻易相信，人不可貌相，海水不可斗量，那不能够接受。两面三刀的把戏，只要你有勇气做你自己 ，You can become what you dream to be。<笑>谢谢，谢谢。太厉害了，<笑>你自己写的？对，自己写的。太厉害了，还好。不然不挑貌相。谢谢你一直以来的这个教导，对，非常感恩。谢谢，谢谢 ，Miss Tan。Teacher, we we just try to do our job well. We didn't really know the kind of impact we have on our student. Actually, I'm very thankful that Shiga come back to thank me personally. This will be a very memorable time that I will remember in my teaching career.